This video will give you an idea on how to be a leader so that you can manage your team efficiently and effectively as possible. So without further ado, let's get started! My name is Red and I am working in a BPO industry for more than a decade now as an operation manager and I'm creating this content because I've been getting messages from my friends, employees, and previous employees. They wanted me to share my experiences and my best practices on how to be a leader. I am not saying that I am a good leader but they wanted me to share what are my techniques. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Before we move forward, I just wanted to remind every leader or aspiring leaders out there that there's no such thing as a good leader. Why? Because every leader will not stop trying to be good. Every leader in any organization has a target or goals that they need to meet on a given time frame depending on the demand of the business or the client. And I have to say today that we will not be in this position if we don't have the skills to fix this. In line with that, this video will not tell you on how to attack a specific metric or your targets because you're not meeting it because there's already a process in place in every organization that we need to follow on how we can get to the bottom of that. But the focus of my video today is the behavior that we need to demonstrate so that we can execute all the plans that we have in place. My first tip is know your people. I think this is the common struggle of every leader that is currently experiencing right now because there are leaders who are really good in planning but when it comes to the execution it's not going anywhere and if you are feeling that way maybe there is something wrong or there's a gap between you and your people always keep in your mind that no matter how good your plan is if your people will not follow it then your plan will put into ways the best way to let your people follow every action plans that we have in your mind is by simply knowing them the first time you step in as their leader we have the saying in our company that you have to win the hearts of your people before you win their mind how are you going to do this? Build connection. Know your people, what's their life outside office. This is very important because you have to understand their motivation, what keeps driving them. Because in the end of the day, you will use this motivation so that you can win their hearts if you have action plans or if they are not going in the right way. I am a believer that we should not build a wall between our people. Instead, we should just draw a very thin line. When we say drawing a very thin line, it gives our people an opportunity to be heard and they will always feel comfortable working with us. And once our people felt that they are comfortable working with us, then you will earn their respect. And one way that you can earn their respect is by simply understanding and listening to them. By simply doing this, you are starting to build a strong foundation that you are a leader that practice open door policy, that you are always there to listen to any of their feedbacks, complaints under your organization. Because in the end of the day, you are the leader and you are there to fix it. If our employees feels that they have a leader who listens, then whatever actions or changes that you will make in your organization, they will follow it, not because they have to, but because they respect you. Encourage feedback to your leadership. Not all the leaders are practicing this kind of approach, but I can share that this is one of my best practices. I have this kind of mindset that feedback is a gift and I always ask feedback. 
there's a moment in my career that if I'm not getting feedback, I feel demotivated. So that's why I am a kind of leader that I usually knock to the door of the office of my manager. And then I will sit there and I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to tell my boss and say, please give me feedback for the things that I have done for the last few months. Because again, I am hungry for improvement. And if you want to be a good leader, then you should be hungry for improvement because there's no such thing as a perfect or good leader. There will always be improvement that you need. There One thing that I do not miss to do with my employees is to have a one-on-one -on -one session with them on a monthly basis. And there are two questions that I usually ask them. The first question that I ask them is, are you still happy? satisfied and comfortable with my leadership usually they will say yes and of course i will follow it with a question why because that's gonna be a positive feedback but i will not stop there because our employees will not usually say the things that they don't like about us the next question that i usually ask them is if there are things that i need to improve as your leader what would that be I always encourage my people to say something no matter what it is because I have a mindset that I am not a perfect leader. There is always something that I need to improve on and they have to say it to me so that I will not do it again. If I hurt their feelings because I call them out, they have to say it to me so that I can apologize or explain why I did that. This conversation is really important because I don't want to burn bridges with my people. I always make sure that the bridge that we have as their leader and as, as my employee is always strong. I always believe that whatever actions that I have, it's my subordinates who will execute it. And if we don't have a good connection and a strong foundation, then I will not be able to see the result that I'm expecting. It's okay to say sorry. I understand that in our position right now, there's a lot of pressure. And there are some instances that our emotions are getting over on how we speak or how we talk to our people. And you will always feel that sometimes you are somehow going beyond the line that you draw between you and your employee. And if you felt that somehow you have said something that might hurt the feelings of your employee then talk to them and explain what had happened and again it's okay to say sorry because saying sorry is not a sign of weakness when you don't be afraid to let go See, we can't hide the fact that there are employees that we have that are not meeting our expectation after we have skilled them and give them redirection or advices and in the end of the day the only thing that is left for us to be able to grow in our business is to let them go and this kind of situation is common to every leaders out there because they know what's gonna happen and they don't want to let go of their people not because of their skills but because of the understanding and the connection that they have with them this is something that needs practice because it will really take time for you to be able to make this kind and hard decision i have to tell you that based on my experience i learned it in a hard way and after that I have realized that sometimes the best way to help someone is to let them go. We are under the impression that if we will keep them in our business, we are helping them. We are helping their, their family to sustain their financial need. But we are not aware at the back of our mind that we are dragging them down. We are letting them stand in the quicksand. When I learned that in a hard way, I understand that sometimes you have to let go of your people because you are helping them. 
because maybe the situation or the profile that they have right now doesn't fit the organization that you have maybe they are good in a different line of business if and if you are keeping them and then you're stopping them to grow i know that sometimes as a leader we make decision based on our emotion because of the guilty feelings that we feel once we deliver the sad message by knowing the struggles and current status of our employees sometimes lead us to make a bad business decision making and i definitely understand that because i've been there and i learned it in a hard way but keep in your mind that sometimes in order to help someone is to let them go all right guys so i hope you like all the tips that i have provided again i am not saying that this might work but these are my best practices and i'm willing to share it to everyone so please, please let me know in the comment down below if you consider my tips helpful let me know as well what are the things that you wanted me to share on my next video about working in this industry and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I will be uploading more videos about my experiences and my stories being a manager. And I hope that you will continue to support my channel. So once again, this is Red. And